YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lily Works, and I am a part-time reseller and a full-time stay-at-home mom. And today we are at the um, flea market that is right outside the antique store. Um, it was raining, so a lot of vendors actually left, but I did find a couple things for myself, and we're gonna head inside. So stay tuned and. So here we are outside at the flea market and as you can see it is drizzling outside um, a lot of vendors did pack up were packing up but I did manage to find some things to pick up for myself here they are a picture a book and a brooch which I will show you later here I'm going to show you this big massive amethyst chunk necklace I thought that was interesting and then after a while we decided to head in to the antique store and here we are looking at some of the things behind glass and I think I've said this in a previous video but if I was um, a vendor at an antique store yes I would like the protection of having things behind glass but I feel like you would sell a lot less because of the hassle of asking. So this particular vendor always has really nice things that I like. I actually um, was wearing, or I guess I am still wearing this ring and I'll show you pretty soon that I got from this particular antique dealer. Sorry for my fingers. <laughs> Excellent camera work. There's my ring. Um, that I really like, the sterling ring. I got it from this booth. Oh, look at that bowl with spoons. So pretty. There's a lot of pretty things to see today. So this caught my attention. This booth was 20% off. And look at this purse. This is a... Lucite purse. I'm trying to show that it was $25 and just really well made. And it's funny, this purse, that uh, Chenille Tapestry purse right there, I have one listed. I just listed it yesterday in my store that I picked up from Goodwill and it was the same exact design but bigger. Ugh, I am looking at that now and I should have picked it up. I actually collect those iron banks for my boy Gideon. And because I used to have one as a kid and now I wanted to start collecting those, it was $25 and I took a video of it, but I did not pick it up. Now I'm a little disappointed. That was just a Stetson um, all wool hat. Stetson, vintage Stetson does really well, uh, bucket hats and stuff. This was a sweet little coin purse that I did end up picking up very very pretty and in really great condition found a ladybug rock we have a um, take a book leave a book library that my husband built where we have a rock garden and the neighborhood kids paint rocks so that's what that reminded me of that uh, ladybug rock where you flip it over and it'll say welcome to you know our neighborhood or the Facebook page oh my gosh look at how gorgeous these Y shaped stranded necklaces that one in particular um, that purple one so pretty as a matter of fact I think this whole entire vendor has um, 
stunning jewelry pieces, all of which I probably would like. Like, I'm wondering where someone like this gets all these pieces. Like, look at those Millie Fiori pieces and just like really, really stunning, stunning pieces. Even that like white set right there. Do you see that with the hand painted flowers, some morning jewelry, it looks like. And she has it set out, or he, he or she has it set out so nicely. Oh, with some Native American jewelry. All these cuff link bracelets. Um, and then she also, or he, she or he at the top had this lucite, carved lucite heels from the 1940s. And I have never seen shoes like that, and I'm a shoe reseller, so I was like, those are so cool. I think I had that listed for 65 Here I am trying to make a beeline past all these booths to try to make it to that booth where you can dig through jewelry, and it's all 50% off, and I do well reselling So um, with that jewelry. So here we go. There is the bin. There was somebody else there already. And yeah, so I did get that one. That one was glass. And there are people, you know, in and out behind me. Um, so I wasn't like sitting there and taking all the time in the world that I wanted. So if I found something interesting and it was a good price, I usually put it into my bin and then they... The people that work there took it to the front. So I'm mostly looking for things that are really interesting. Um, usually big giant statement clip-on earrings. Things that are signed and things that look like um, sterling silver or semi-precious stones. So these are some giant clip-on earrings. So I got those. And whenever I come here, there's usually one or two people digging on the other side and we end up chit-chatting about things and reselling jewelry or if they make crafts out of jewelry or they might be teachers. So this is a belt right here, and I can tell just by how it's packed in there. Two dollars, so that means this belt was a dollar, and I love selling belts. Um, this kind of gave me an idea of all my $7.99 type jewelry. I can just, oh, there's my finger. I'm doing such a great job at camera work right now. Sorry. Um, yeah, so this kind of gave me the idea that maybe for the rummage sale I can put out a bunch of jewelry at set prices and I'm hoping that people will buy them, but then I'm wondering how I can do that because a lot of this stuff is going to be listed in eBay and other platforms, so I would really have to be on the ball with that. I see some coin jewelry. I do like selling coin jewelry, so I put that one in my basket. I'm sure you're watching this and would love, if you're a jewelry lover, you would love to dig in something like this too. And it seems like for the sale, he had um, restocked this because it was getting kind of empty. And then he had restocked it probably right before the um, sale event that happened, so there was a lot of new things to find. That one looked like glass, and I actually did get that one, but that one looked Chico's to me. It was not marked, though. 
All right, here we go. This one had more expensive prices, um, but I did get a few things from this booth. I'm just showing you those little fluff pom-poms. I see those every time I come. Four dollars, maybe I should just grab them. They're so cute. Little rabbit fur or I don't know, fox fur or something. I'm showing you this necklace, which is so cool. Things that like instantly grab my attention, I like to think about because if it catches my attention, then it probably will catch somebody else's attention. So that necklace, these earrings. If you guys see anything that I might have missed, make sure to leave it in the comments below. I took a look at this um, John Hardy uh, clip. And this particular one I think is only selling, or someone has it up for $19.99 free shipping on eBay. So I didn't grab that one, but never heard that name before. This one was marked, I think, SB, if I remember. SG, maybe? And it was Genuine Stone, but I did not grab that one. This was pretty. It had like an art deco... I'm sorry, Art Nouveau look to it. This was a little compact with uh, or for powder, and it says Apple Juice Bakelite. When I looked at it closer, there was a lot of fractures in there. I do want to buy Bakelite. This one was celluloid pin. Um, I'm, I don't know if that was supposed to be like a perfume bottle look or something. I don't know. And this is the booth that I find a lot of my higher end pieces that have sold for like $150 or $80. And this vendor has a lot of jewelry. So, um, but my mom had already kind of went through here and grabbed me a couple pieces. And yeah, I didn't find anything um like crazy great but i did find a couple things i love that metal thing and those pictures but that um what is it an oxidized metal or now oh, i'm showing me that hat but that metal thing i just love the colors and every time we go there we both love looking at that that guy um wanted to wave to the camera so i left him in he was like oh can i say hi so there he is I'm trying to get people out of the camera and cut people out, but it's kind of difficult. So I left him in. He's very happy. Yeah, so that was uh, this booth. All right, we just finished up our shopping. I spent 186 on everything, and I will show you guys the haul when we get home. All right, we are back with the haul of what I picked up at the flea market slash um, antique store. And yeah, grab yourself a drink and let's get started. So, um, it rained, so a lot of vendors packed up, um, but there was one, I, I picked something up from two vendors, um, and so I can show that first but these are actually for myself and it was a vendor that I met I believe her name's Colleen so she might actually watch this video so hello Colleen um, she gave me a deal and so I paid $20 for these three things so the first thing that I um, picked up was this for myself and I thought it was really pretty it's abalone and a leaf and I don't think this um, tag came with it so I can just take it off but it says 925 tax co RS so it's signed RS on the back so sterling silver with abalone um, and I just thought it was really pretty and a lot of the vendors there were kind of like, I'm over it. I just, just buy stuff so I can leave type of a deal. Um, so yeah, and it came in this little box. 
And then I picked up this book. It's just really boho. What does it say? And it's just blank for writing. And I'm always looking for a place to jot down some notes. Um, I think I actually might keep this down here because I write down like sizes of scarves and belts. And sometimes I put it on my hand like if I can't find anything. So I think I'll just keep this book down here. And then lastly, I got this from her. And I got this because I think it will match my house. I, we have a lot of gold frames in our house. And it's signed, I'm not even sure, but this is fabric with a flower painted on it. And it is signed. And the back says Batik Painting by something... Oh, Priscilla Dalton. Oh, that's, that, that's probably what it says in the front. Priscilla. So it's ripped a little bit, but it says Priscilla Dalton Batik Painting. And um, I do like the green and the flower. So that's going to go up in our house. So those are um, some things I got from outside. I picked up one more thing from outside. Um... For myself, it's a little cameo trinket box, but I think it's in my purse, so I'm going to have to get that and show you guys later. But let's get into some of the things. So some of these things, I think almost all of the things, might be for resale. Um, only a couple things I think I got for myself. But um, they had 20 to 50% off of all the all of the booths in the antique store so I picked this up and it was originally $25 but it was 20% off so there we go and I know I can make money uh, from this this definitely makes me happy um, so what's 20% off can't even do math right now when I when I have uh, have to perform. My therapist calls it performance anxiety. She did a test where she made me do math while like under pressure, and I couldn't do it. So if you're asking me to do math right now, I cannot do it. Anyways, it's a lucite and woven. What is this? Raffia maybe, but it's like plastic coated so it's really heavy duty and yeah really nice quality really heavy duty and it's like an amber toned swirl lucite bag and a lot of these lucite box bags do really well um, here's the inside it says made in Hong Kong so I am going to price this for um, at least $69 just because it is that cool and in that great of condition and it is just lovely and I think that it's actually really trendy like for now so there is that one yeah so that was pretty exciting oh so this would have been $20 there goes math $20 for this and yes I am paying up for these but these things make me happy. These are by no means like resale prices, um, or I guess, yeah, resale prices like for everyday resale, but um, I do go to the bins often, so I, my cost of goods is lower because of that. And uh, I did go to the vendor to buy a bunch of jewelry, and so my cost of goods is lower for it that as well so let's see let me grab this bag oh no that one that one's a big bag let's see what we can okay so these pieces that i'm going to show you um i purchased i think from the same vendor and these prices were a little bit more expensive her was 25% off for these um, jewelry pieces that I'm going to show you and some things I kind of took a chance because I want to test them and they are not marked so some of them I'm taking a gamble on and maybe I will put up on the screen 
um, if it's Sterling or Bakelite or what have you. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is this. This is so funky and I think it was $4 with 25% off and this like is screaming 50s to me uh, but it I think is made out of celluloid. Celluloid is very lightweight compared to what it looks like it should um, weigh and then it has these like rhinestone things jutting out from the side and it is like shiny gold and this was just way too funky I just love it not for myself but I am going to love listing this and I know that somebody else is going to love this yeah definitely not <laughs> it does not fit me but no surprise there um so that I picked up okay picked up these fantastic earrings and these she had for five dollars with 25% off and they are these brass celestial boho style earrings and they are noisy these are some noisy dangle earrings um, I know somebody is going to be watching this video and loving these. They do have to be cleaned up a little bit. There is a bit of, I don't know if it's bare degree on the brass, but oh my gosh, these are amazing. They're etched butterflies and etched turtle, heart, sun. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Um, these clip-on huge mungus earrings, these were $8, but, um, what do they say? Let's see. I wonder if I have my loop down here. Hmm. All right, so let me show you what these say. This earring says right here. I know you guys um, are seeing it backwards, but I believe it says Graziano. I think I might have sold something by them or I've heard it in a video, but these are oh, backwards. These are just massive and I love selling massive vintage clip-on earrings. So yeah. Mm, that is definitely a statement earring for sure. There we go. So, pick these up. These are $8. They're 25% off. So yes, I paid up for these, but they're so amazing. They are crazy amazing. Crazy amazing. So there's that. Okay. I picked up these for $4. These are stunning. Show you what that looks like. So it is like a, um, I don't know if this is called watermelon Rivoli because it's different colors than the pink and the blue. This one's purple and blue and it is a Rivoli stone and then it has a um, faux pearl teardrop rhinestone and it is pierced and these were just lovely so I definitely wanted to pick these up some things I just pick up because I know I'm going to make a little bit of profit and I know I'm going to love listing it that might not be your business model I have enough things in my store that I can uh, do some of these fun things sometimes okay what else? Ooh, okay. This vendor had this one for $6.99, 25% off. And it is a matte gold, which is typically a sign that it's from the 80s. And a toggle clasp, and this is a vintage Anne Klein. 
um, necklace charm necklace and there is the Anne Klein lion head and these matte um, tasseled hearts and this I would like label as like couture because it is it's very like um, chic looking runway 80s quality necklace so I got that one next I guess I can test this with you because I have my Cinechrome polish. Um, but if it doesn't test, I still am going to sell it. It's still, what is it? It is branded Avon. So I did look up real quick in um, the antique store. Does Avon have any um, Bakelite? pieces did they ever sell any and I did see some listed so that doesn't mean that this is Bakelite it, but it looked similar to like apple juice Bakelite so it's this big 70s style pendant long articulated and here is my Cinechrome polish and this will turn like a dirty earwaxy um, color if it is and it will have like a smell kind of and if it stays pink that means that it is not a Bakelite plastic okay so it's staying pink there is the pink on the q-tip and uh, yeah but this is still really cool. This is a um, matte gold and that amber color plastic. I guess it's lucite. But that, this is really cool. And I got this for $5 with 25% off. Okay, next, I think this one was a pretty good deal. Um, this I'm going to probably test for silver, but this is a genuine stone. These look like, um, the, the porcupine quills. So it looks native to me. I got this one for $6 and what kind of stone is this? It's very light blue. That's what that looks like. This definitely is like a handmade piece with some chain wheel down there and I'm going to test this for sterling I have all my sterling silver acids upstairs there's that one this massive thing what does it say ten dollars so ooh, this would have been 750 um 750 but um I know I can make a profit on this one. This one is marked 925 sterling on um, both sides of the clasp. Then it has these sparkling iridescent blue beads between the coins. And it has a really solid weight to it. Very sparkly. And definitely going to be listing this for at least 30. Probably more. And there's that one. Yeah, that one's that one's uh, has a really good weight to it. Okay, then these for five dollars, probably uh, see that these are the intaglio style, where it is carved into the. Um, this feels like a black glass, but it's probably like a jet, black jet or onyx or something. These are marked but I cannot tell it looks like it oh it looks like it might say Victoria I'll show you what maybe you guys can just see from the shape on the little cartouche there there's a V and then whatever else it says um, but I thought that these are really cool with that intaglio style carving into the glass 
And so I am taking a chance on these. Um, because there's not a lot of like intaglio earrings listed that I could see. So, <clears throat> all right, next is this beauty. And it has a leather cord and it definitely looks like sterling silver. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See that? That looks like sterling to me. And then it has this really pretty glass, maybe? Yeah, I think this is glass. In there, um, double strand. Ooh, that is so pretty. What did I pay for this? $5.99. So $6 for this one. And I will test that. All right, so those are all one that I got from one booth, and I paid up for those, that's for sure. Okay, next, let's get into some jewelry that I got from that bin where everything's 50% off and it's priced very uh, cheap. So, let me just go ahead and show you some of the pieces. All right, here is this piece. I don't know if I got two of these. I might have. Uh-oh, something just fell. Oh, I think that was just an earring that was stuck on here. So I think that this uh, vendor gets jewelry boxes as well and then puts everything into bags. But this was listed for $2. So I got it for a dollar. And it is these navy blue beads with a tassel necklace and a box clasp right here and on the back of the tassel it is signed Monet on the back of the clasp it is signed Monet and this statement Monet necklace I got for a dollar see everything balances out got some really great uh, finds some Monet pieces I've listed for like $40 and sold so I don't know what I'm listing this one for but it definitely is awesome Okay, let's see what these are. This just says Japan. I'm gonna take one of these out. I told my mom when we were digging in the jewelry, I said, just find clip-on earrings that look like statement pieces. Or find um, jewelry, um, just find jewelry in general that have like a name or a little jewelry tag or something on it and then we'll go from there but these are some huge faux pearl drop earrings with a little um av i guess not av i don't know that's more like iridescent i guess av yeah um crystal in the middle yeah, these are pretty awesome. So I got these for a dollar as well. Okay, if you see anything you like um, from this video, make sure to reach out to my Instagram messenger. I will have a lot of these listed already, but I will give my subscribers a deal, a percentage off what I list them for. All right, so this right here definitely looks like a sterling um, clasp and then it has all these art beads oh so pretty green and dark blue like really pretty jewel tones so this is definitely like an artisan necklace this really cool statement bead right here this one looks like if you shine light through it it would look so pretty um, yeah, there's that one. And this I got for a dollar. Okay, next. Ooh, see, these are definite statement. Hong Kong vintage. Okay, these are so cool. Um, these are some statement clip on earrings. They make little sounds, and they are iridescent uh, dangle clip-on earrings, ornate, like Bali style, 
really cool. So there are those. And these I picked up for a dollar. Here are another pair for a dollar. These are pretty. So, ooh, I might test that for amber. Um, this one is not marked, but they are just wood beads with some ornate gold tone caps and they are clip on a little bit longer, really hippie, possibly like 70s, possibly amber stone. Okay, what's this? This one I got for a dollar. And it, look at how neat this is. This is so cool. Okay, so I don't think this one is marked, but it totally is real. It's just so cool. So it has like pine cone dangles on this like mesh chain, spiraled. And then it's two different textures for the chain and then a hook clasp on the back. But I just loved those little pine cone dangles for a dollar. This is so cool. Okay, so I got that not marked, but still really, really cool. These were the first earrings I picked out when I was telling my mom, just find some statement clip on earrings. That will be easy. Um, and these are just plastic but they are really big and long. So they are black and, I don't know, beige. So that's those, and I picked these up for a dollar. Another dollar piece. And it looks, I feel like with this one I have to be careful. This is, a bib necklace with, who is that? Um, Cleopatra? Um, somebody. I know I've sold earrings with her on it before. And yeah, just like brass findings. I believe it's brass. And then it has these black wood beads? I'm not sure. But isn't this a great statement piece? It looks like a museum replica piece. And this I got for a dollar. This is amazing. That's what the back looks like. So not marked. But I can Google Lens to see if there's any other like this. It feels really delicate and old. Um, so that was cool. All right, next, ooh, so this is not marked at all, I don't believe, but it's in really great shape. And the the faux pearls, the glass faux pearls have that nice weight to them. They feel really nice. They're hand knotted, and I got this for a dollar. Plus, it has this gorgeous box clasp. Okay, look at this. There's rhinestones and those pearls and then this is just in really great shape you can see that and a lot of times when I am displaying um, necklaces like this I will display it with the box clasp on the side because a lot of people like having decorated clasps so for a dollar this is lovely two-stranded glass bead necklace. Okay, here is one that has a hang tag. Don't know who it is. Very like artsy, modern looking. Let's see. So it just has CG right there. CG. The G is very small. And then it has this really cool glass, crackled glass, crackle foil glass pendant. And then these really pretty beads going up. 
And so I'm going to have to look that one up. But this I got for a dollar. Next. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Um, whenever I see Cloisonne, I get it. Okay, so the cord is like not high quality, but it is this blue colored cord. And then it has this Cloisonne dragon. You can see that. It has a Cloisonne dragon on it. And so I could, um, I might just take that, the cord off, but I got this for a dollar and it's really neat. I love Cloisonne jewelry. So there's that. What is this? Um, this I got for a dollar. It looks very artsy, artisan, um, looking and it's a little bent, but it is like copper wire all the way up with these genuine stones. These look like agate stones. And then twisty copper, so definitely putting artisan in the title. I thought this was just really cool for a dollar. Okay, this, ooh, this one was also a dollar. And it is just so strange. It is like really interesting. Okay, so it is these Rivoli crystally stones on leather. It's like a choker collar thing. And yeah, I don't know. That kind of looks Egyptian now that it's on. Isn't that interesting? So I was like, okay, a dollar. I don't know if someone like handmade this during leather shop or what, but it was really cool. Um, yeah. So it's so weird. I'm going to have to get that third degree. It looks like, uh, it's so weird that I had to get it right for a dollar. Okay. Next. This one, a dollar. And I believe this one is marked. This one is Marvella. Marvella has a lot of faux pearl um, jewelry pieces. And let's see what the clasp looks like. Yep, this is one of those clasps that you pinch and then it goes inside of the pearl. So would this be considered a box clasp? It's similar. It just kind of goes into the pearl like that. And in great shape, different sized and shaped beads, and it has five strands. So this is really nice for a dollar. Ooh, this one's pretty too. This one's like a very light pink, blush pink. Ooh, and it has like an ornate clasp. Very nice glass, glass pearls, hand knotted, and a really like nice length. So it's not skimping on the length. Um, I don't think it says anything. I got this for a dollar. Let's see. Nope. It doesn't say anything anywhere, but I don't care. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous color really nice weighty feel gorgeous clasp that was lovely for a dollar okay so everything that i bought that i'm going to be showing you guys today um i picked up for 186 dollars is what everything came to so not too bad um of a day like that's a pretty good price for everything that i bought when it all averages out. All right, let's see if there's even a clasp on this. But this is stunning, $2. 
I don't see a clasp. All right, then I will just show you the beads themselves. A lot of artsy um, Murano style, wedding cake style. I don't, I don't know what else. Really, really pretty, like gold stone swirls and flowers and just really pretty, pretty statement glass beads. Okay, got that one. I did pick up a couple belts. So this was a dollar. Let's take a look. So it just is, and there's a little earring in there. Um, this one is a Concho Silver Tone Chain Belt for a dollar, which is awesome. And then this one is vintage. Another chain belt. I'm wondering if this vendor um, gets belts in their jewelry lots. Like maybe they get a Shop Goodwill lot. And then they just put everything in bags. I don't know. But... These have really, really pretty um, metal pieces. They have like an Art Nouveau stylistic lines. So really pretty. And this I got for a dollar. And you know me, I love selling belts for sure. All right, this bag has one more here. This one is labeled Chloe and Isabel. It has a really nice weight to it. it has these um, iridescent sparkling beads and then it has chain and then the different parts of the chain have like a different colored thread around it. So here's white and then a very light green and then a teal-ish color and then a darker teal and then a crocheted braided thread. So really pretty. I haven't looked up um, Chloe and Isabel, but for a dollar, I got this piece. It's, it feels really nice. So that was a good sign at least. These um, are some clip-on earrings. I am hoping they're Matisse or Renoir. I did not look, like, look um, that close into them, but they are copper. So a lot of copper jewelry is made by or signed Matisse or Renoir. I believe um, Matisse is by Renoir. But I don't see anything. But they look like this. And that black tarnish, I believe is purposeful. I, I don't think that that's like from age. I think that it is made to accentuate that cross detail. But there are these two clip-on earrings. They are very cool modernist earrings nonetheless, even if they are not marked. All right, let's see another bag. Ooh, let's look at this one. So this I got for 50 cents. And I believe with the weight and the design some people can um, know their plastics by the sound. It has a clunky clunk feel or sound. And this is 50 cents and I think it's celluloid, possibly, um, with these carved roses, this bangle, vintage bangle, and it has to be cleaned. And um, yeah, if you know anything about this, and maybe you are like, no, that's absolutely this plastic. Just let me know. Otherwise, a lot of times I'll put celluloid question mark in the title if I don't know for sure. All right, because this video is so long, I'm going to split it into two parts, but don't worry. The second part will be coming very soon. Um, I just recorded it all together, but I'm splitting it up into two videos. So make sure that you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and make sure to hit that subscribe button to make sure that you are subscribed and that bell notification so that you are notified for the content, content that I put up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.